Hey guys, so the bass are starting to spawn and I have this great idea. I'm going to take the drone out to the pond and see if I can see them before they see me. The pond here is really, really clear as you can see. It's super clear. So I don't want to spook any fish like I spooked these turtles off this log. My idea is to take the drone out, fly it around the pond, and spot the fish on the beds, know exactly where they are so I can sneak up on them. It's also a really good way to see a contour of the pond. I didn't even know this channel here existed. Right away I start seeing beds, but I'm not seeing any fish on them. I hover over the beds, I wait for a minute, I see a couple bluegills, but no bass. I see this bed tucked up under this pine tree and I fly down. It's kind of hard to see because of all the lily pads and the shadows that they cast, but I don't see any bass on this bed either. All right, there's our first bass. I see him on that little bed. There's a big bed right there, but there's no bass on that big bed. So I know where this is, and I'm going to walk over there and sneak up on this fish, and hopefully I can get him before I spook him like the drone does right here. Oh, these things stink. Look at how good that looks. Yep. Oh. First cast. Yes, sir. This is the ticket right here. This looks good. I am super happy with the way this looks in the water. Oh, it stinks so good. What horrible luck, man. Look at this, I just broke my rod, my reel. Broke my rod yesterday, my reel today. Oh my gosh. Wonder if I can fish with the broken reel. I can still reel in. It just doesn't have a handle on it, look. It feels so weird fishing like this without a handle. Wow, the wind just picked up out of nowhere. I can see the bed right there. I saw it on the drone, that's why I'm over here. It was kind of cool. I flew the drone around this whole pond looking for beds and I found some. So they're definitely bedding. I don't know if they're still on the beds. I saw, the only fish I saw was right here. I'm afraid I'm going to catch that lunker and not have the handle on this reel and lose it. Let's see if I can get right on that bed. Oop. Too far. That wind is killer. Oop, did something just pick it up? No. Nope. Yep, something's got it now. Feels like a bluegill. Little tiny head thumps. Dunk, dunk, dunk. I threw that jig around for a while and didn't get anything. So I'm going to try the wacky Sanko. Yep, there he was. That's got to be that bass on the bed. I can see the bed. And that swirl was just right over top of that bed. I wonder if they're making the beds right now. They might not be sitting on them. Because when I flew the drone, I didn't see anything. Oh, that felt like a weed. That felt like, like a stump. It was way too solid to be a fish. Oh, wow, my hook is straightened out. 
Good thing I noticed that. It was a it was a stump. There we go, that's perfect. And there's a tree. Come on, tree. I think I might have got the tree. Yep, it's coming. Gotta love that 30 pound braid. Whoo! Come on, tree. You will not snag anybody else anymore. You're coming to me. Or you're just gonna chill right there. That was a bluegill, I think. That was definitely a fish. I saw it flash. I did see bluegills on the drone. Watch this 30 pound braid come right through those lily pads like a champ. That's another thing is there's two beds right here too, but I don't see any fish on them. There's that tree limb that I caught. Oh, there's a bed right under that tree I didn't see on the drone. I've never tried to skip a wacky worm with my bait caster, but I'm going to try it. Well, it kind of splashed. It didn't really, didn't really skip. But it was accurate enough. Oh, that was a big bass. Oh. Oh. No. No. That's going to make me cry. That was a big bass. I saw him. I saw him turn sideways when I set the hook. He ripped my, my Senko right in half. That was a big bass, guys. Darn it. That's all I needed was that one bass. Just one bass today is all I'm asking for. And that would have been the one. Oh, that was a beautiful bass. Darn it. I saw him. I saw him when he, I saw his side. Oh, there's like a hundred bluegills right there. That's an idea. I'll just come out here and catch one lily pad at a time until they're all gone. Oh, there's a nice bass. Oh yeah, buddy. I cast it right on top of his head. Darn it. Here comes another one. Don't tell me I caught that pad. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Just spooking them, man. Just spooking them. That's what I'm doing. That big bass is back. I might have a bed over there. Let me try that other bait. My broken fishing reel. I bet you they've never seen anything like this before because I've never seen anything like this before. It's a Texas style weightless jig. It sinks incredibly slow, almost floats. But it does look like one of those crayfish that's ready to, ready to be eaten. This is gonna be interesting because my reel's broke. We have to reel in with my finger. Look at that little guy. There's that big bass. Oh, there's two of them. One of them's like a five pounder. Let's see, I'll cast past. He saw it and turned from it. 
Now he's coming back. Yeah, I don't think he's ever seen anything like this before. Yeah, that's a big bass. There's one. Oh, I can't reel them in. Come on. Oh, I'm so glad this worked. Yes. My weightless jig. Oh, that's so awesome. Look at this. He's not the big one, but I caught one on my weightless jig. Woohoo! My invention worked. Yes. That's a healthy little bass. Look at that. I watched him eat it. Okay, let's put him back over here. So we don't spook them big ones. We'll just sit here and wait. We'll wait for that big one to come back. He's a he's a good sized bass, man. But yeah, this thing being weightless like this, it just floats in the strike zone. It almost suspends. I casted perfect. <laughs> 